What the fuck is up? Let's see the endings. What's this music? What the fuck? Yeah. The same thing. It's the same thing. This music was not fucking necessary at all. Dude, we can see. <laughs> Alright, let me stop. Yeah, same thing. Well, I'm kind of glad that we picked a better option from those two right here. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS. Take careful and decided to send her off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send her off, I felt my ten shoulders relaxed too much. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the story terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on the, on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to, off to a grocery shopping. To a local supermarket when the wife came back and said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed. Was that the little girl? The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her along with her child and her stomach. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked. At the same place as him, according to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and he had, he had complained to several colleagues and on the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful with tears in my eyes. I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. <sighs> Oof. Then I received a phone from Mr. A franchise leader who ha I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then when a shivering voice, he said, the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. 
And when I asked about the place where he was found, it says that there was an old storage behind the convenience store and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could because every time I pass in front of the store, I... This is so fucking long. I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized at the at the, at that point. I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, <laughs> I heard a child's voice there. I saw the woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in, in the middle of the... Oh, so that's what... That was the, the shit on the floor. When I had to do all that fucking TV shit. Okay. Convenience store is a horror game about a shop where a girl is on the night shift. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This, you know, actually, no, let's just watch it. Fuck it. Yeah, let's just watch it. The convenience store is a horror game about a shop where a girl is on the night shift under the control of a young manager. This game has a simple storyline but perfect sound. Graphics look like something from a 1980s movie and makes it odd to play. At beginning of the game, is a scene of a girl living alone in an apartment. Mm -hmm. After a meal, she goes to work at a convenience store. This area is hugely horror and not a shadow of people at midnight. On the sidewalk, we see a beggar. He said, I mean, it's nighttime. Not a lot of people are outside. Says that he knows things are wrong here and warns the girl that something is going to happen. The manager likes to tell. Oh, so that's the manager? Tell the horror stories to scare staff. Yeah, that was my coworker. Someone fell on a bridge that a girl often crosses, or about a pedestrian with bent legs. He records the daily work on the note sheet. This night is nothing special, except that the door is opened and closed continuously, but there is no one outside. Moments later, someone hands her the package. It is the first tape, recording the area behind the store. The first night, she still goes to work on the dark road alone. There are no bad guys or ghosts to harm her. The manager says the door sensor and wirings have been fixed, not by the devil. After cleaning and selling, the yeah, girl she talks talking to about? a granny. The old lady says that she heard the voice of a baby named Kinson, and this place was once home to her daughter. She says confusing things before leaving. At moment later, the door is opened and closed automatically. However, no one else out there. When checking the camera, there is a boy outside. Wait, it was a boy? The second night. Hearing a knock on the door, she goes down, and there is only the second tape. Like the first one, recording the area behind the store with the ceiling banner. She still goes to work on the dark road in the rain. In human resources room, the manager suddenly emerges from the cupboard, making her scare to death. Due to the girl's reaction, he promises not to do again. Getting things in storage, suddenly the door is locked. Outside, the doorbell continues to ring like the first night. After a moment, it is unlocked. Moments later, an air conditioning repairman comes here. Looking at the camera, we see that the ceiling banner has been torn by the boy. The worker dropped a tool. Use it, and the girl gets a key to unlock the old warehouse in the sealed area. She tries to open the door, but some invisible force held her hand. 
What? A female customer gives the girl charm because of her working alone at the time. Perhaps the people living near this area understand the spiritual spooky very well. Hearing the sound of water flowing in the restroom, she comes in to check nothing. Back out, the door could not be opened. Moments later, the bizarre door automatically unlocked. Outside, someone rummaged through the store. She checks the camera and sees a black ghost. Frightened, she picks up talismans on the floor, and comes to the old warehouse. Inside is the corpse of the manager. The screen has number four. Next to that there is a video. Oh. The sound of the game is more creepy. Dude, when I was playing that shit was dark as fuck. I couldn't even see Inside half of that. The corpse of All I could see is like the face and the form. Of the manager. The screen has number four. Next to that there is a video. The sound of the game is more creepy oh, than rats. usual. The body then turns to look at her. The third night. The girl thinks everything was just a nightmare. However, the third video is lying on the floor. She opens it to see. It is a scene of the old warehouse where the manager died. The girl goes to work as if nothing had happened. The residential area is enormous, but there are no items to suggest the story. Maybe this area is drawn for fun by the game team. While working, the store suddenly turns a rust color. And there's no... Checking the camera, a boy is looking at the televisions. Coming back out, the girl turns on precisely the televisions the boy had seen. In the shit storage, was hard as fuck. a horror voice is ringing out from someone else. The boy is lying in the corner of the room, and the black ghost appears again. Later, everything is normal. Does the girl see illusions because of lack of sleep? This time, the fourth video is lying at the That's door. That's crazy illusions. That's not possible. The unless it's like the fourth consistent. video is lying on the floor. Here we have two different endings. The bad ending happens if the protagonist watches or throws the fourth video in the trash. At this end, she is crushed to death by the ghost. Also, I died. <laughs> well, I mean, I assume I died. Wonder what my the ending. good ending happens when she sends the fourth video to the sender, with the address oh. on the package. She begins to investigate this store on the internet. The land of this store was formerly a family. The husband killed the son and pregnant wife, then hung himself. The purple-robed granny is the mother of the ghost. The girl called the manager many times, but no one answered. A franchise leader said that the manager was dead in the old warehouse behind the store. So the nightmare in the second night was real. The girl quits her part-time job, and the store is also closed because no one dares to manage. Every time she passes the store, she feels hugely insecure, so she must leave quickly. The store is located on the cursed land. Those who watch all four tapes of the land will die. It sounds like the famous Japanese movie, The Ring. Viewers of the video will die after seven days. You must copy and send it to others to live. Back in the game, who sent the tapes to kill the girl and the manager? The granny or competitors in business? Why doesn't the protagonist investigate anything about the sender? Is this game not good, or the development team is too lazy? Or the protagonist is too scared Jeez. and to save her life? Therefore she must give up investigating things related to the store. The explainer video stops here. The game is just to relax and nothing special. Thank you for your interest. See you in the next videos. Okay. Oh, food. Just... Okay. Well, that's it for that. Bye-bye.